What's up guys, AM Figures here, coming at you again with another figure review. Um, <clears throat> I want to apologize for my long absence. It's uh, I've just had very, very busy uh, uh, days. My schedule's been packed with work and whatnot. But uh, yeah, here we are. So today I'm going to be reviewing the new SH Figure Arts trunks, uh, future trunks for you guys. Um, so first, we'll, as always, we'll start off with the box. Bring this up. <clears throat> there we go. So, this is the front of the box. Pretty cool. And it says Trunks right here. Got his uh, Galaga and Pose. Uh, some pictures. That's the side. Uh, this is the box or uh, back. <laughs> um, uh, just you know, a bunch of more poses of him. Um, plus you know, barcode and everything. Uh, here's the bottom here. Just a picture of him, and it says Trunks. Here's the top, just another window here with a picture. And then the other side, just the window, and it says trunks. Uh, that's pretty much that for the box. I gotta say, I do like this new seal. Seal, it is, it's pretty cool. I don't know, <clears throat> maybe it's just me, but it adds a little something to it. Uh, like I said, it might just be me. <laughs> um, but yeah. So, moving on to the accessories show you guys everything he comes with. He comes with his Sword of Hope effect back here. Uh, his sword, of course. Um, he comes with these hands here too. Uh, I guess Gallic Gun hands for trunks. Uh, open palm hands. Uh, just key blasting hands. Two gripping hands. And then one, uh, I guess, I don't really know what to call it. I guess a relaxed hand. Uh, and then he also comes with two uh, base form fa faces, got the other one on him, and two Super Saiyan faces, as, as well as his Super Saiyan head sculpt, which I gotta say looks pretty awesome. I do like it. I think they did a great job with this figure, um, as well as the accessory. Oh, almost forgot about one accessory, his Gallic gun right up there. Pretty cool, pretty cool, I must say. <clears throat> So, uh, we'll get on to the figure now. Right there. Um, so, his... I know on the other trunks, the uh, the original future trunks, the Cell Saga one, uh, his sheath did not really fit on well at all. But this one, it, you know, it fits on really nicely. Uh, there's a peg up here that the sword goes into. And then you peg this strap into the bottom of the sheath. sheath. Right there, and it fits on really nice. I think it looks really good. Whoops. Um, basically, what you do, uh, it shows in the instructions for the figure, but you take his head off, and then the bandana comes off. Then you put the sword on, you put the bandana back on over it, and then you pop his head back on. And that's how that works. But uh, yeah, overall, this figure, I mean, detail wise, it's a beautiful figure. I love it. Um, I do love this form of trunks, this, uh, this base form blue hair, uh, the blue hair, I was kind of skeptical of it at first, when I first saw it in Super, but honestly, I've grown to love it more than the purple hair, if I'm being totally honest, uh, it just looks really badass, <clears throat> uh, probably helps that blue's my favorite color, but yeah, um, overall, the figure just, it just looks nice, like, I'm just, I'm really, like, happy to, to own it, you know, like, it just looks really nice up on the shelf, uh, on display and whatnot, <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, so, uh, into the articulation, um, actually, there's one thing I want to show you guys, it's, uh, this right here, I'll, actually, I'll, I'll just do a th quick, uh, 360 of the figure, just go around, detail is pretty nice, uh, the little tear in his pants looks pretty good, uh, the sheath and the sword also look very nice. I do like that, I must say. And there you go. Um, so yeah, like I said, overall, just really great looking figure. Um, and we will get into the uh, articulation now. <clears throat> so, the arms move up about that high. So, I mean, not, not too high, but, it, you know, eh, I, I can live with it. Um, 
Actually, it looks like they should go higher, but they don't. Uh, that's about as far, far up as you get. Uh, there is a butterfly joint in the shoulder, so the shoulder does come out about that far, which I think is pretty good. You know, plus the articulation of the in the shoulder itself, so this, it comes out pretty far. Um, and you know, the arm can go full all the way around. Elbows are double jointed, go pretty much all the way back on themselves like that. Pretty nice. Uh, there's also tears here in his jacket, which look pretty nice. Uh, and the hands are the same as any other SH Figuarts hand. You know, twist all the way around, and in and out, up and down, whatnot. <clears throat> uh, so that's good. The ab crunch is pretty good. Go look about that far down, about that far back. So pretty nice. And then the legs, let's get this about this far out, about that far back, um, come all the way out to about there, and then the knees are also double jointed, so they can pretty much go in, uh, into them, back into themselves, um, <clears throat> And, you know, pretty much go as far until the sculpt actually stops the joint from being able to move. But that's just because, yeah. <sighs> Sorry if I'm off my game a little bit today. It's been a while since I've recorded one of these, so I'm just trying to get back into the groove of it. But, yeah. Um, real quick, I, uh, you know, before I continue with this, uh, I just wanted to say, you know, happy holidays. I hope you guys had great holidays, you know. Have a, you know, Merry Christmas, uh, Happy New Year. Happy Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, you know, whatever uh, holiday it is that you celebrated. I hope you guys had a great one. And a great New Year as well. Um, but yeah, so uh, the ankles. Okay, so the ankles come down about that far. Up about that far. And of course there is an ankle pivot. Very nice one at that. Um, and yeah, and... There is a, a toe articulation. Mine only goes up about that far. Um, might just be on mine, I don't know. But yeah. <clears throat> uh, and for the sheath, the sword that goes in here is his broken sword. Um, so yeah. That, uh, that pops right into the sheath. And that is also the one you use on his Sword of Hope effect. So, yeah, that's, um, overall, solid figure. Definitely one of their best, and it was a great way to end the year off, honestly. Um, it was just, it's really pleasing to the eye, as well as just to mess around with. Um, so I say, if you're a Trunks fan, definitely get it. And even if you're not, I still say definitely get it. <laughs> um, it's, it's just overall a great figure, uh. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much going to do it for this video. So I hope you guys enjoy, um, or enjoyed. Uh, and, you know, if you did, leave a like, uh, leave a comment. Uh, leave a comment letting me know how I can get better if you didn't like it. <clears throat> uh, and, you know, subscribe if you really liked it. And you could always hit that bell button next to the subscribe button. That'll uh, let you know when I upload, so you'll be the first to uh, see my videos. But, uh, yeah. Otherwise, um, like I said, hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.